Hi, my name is James Genus, and I'm playing electric bass, and I'll be here throughout the week uh, rehearsing music and playing with uh, artists from all over. What I would do when I'm learning new music and how I would tell someone about the the way I approach it is to do an overall look at the tune itself, whether you be it, you're looking at it or if you're listening to it and take notes of all different things that are going on, um, rhythms, key signatures, uh, just kind of an overall view of the whole tune and focus in on the parts that you think might be, you know, might need some attention. Uh, throughout my career <laughs> and my playing, um, an experience that taught me a lot, um, be it new, old, or young, old, uh, I guess, I guess the one thing would be to make sure that you are presenting yourself as a musician, but also to be prepared with the music that you're playing and prepared uh, with the artists that you're playing with. And uh, I guess basically like doing your homework. What I look for in an artist <laughs> whether I'm collaborating or whatever. I, I think uh, individuality, um, likes and dislikes. Um, and I'm kind of saying that in the sense of like, you are on the same page about what you like with music and it could be life or all that. Cause I think it's a whole spiritual thing too, as far it's not just the music, it's the person too. And where they're coming from and uh, how they feel about music. Uh, some big no-nos that I feel uh, that musicians should not do and should pay attention to. Um, listen, respect the artists, respect the music. Um, yeah, and pay attention because there's all throughout your life, there's always going to be things that you will be taught through other musicians and sometimes it's best to just sit back and take those events or playing situations or of what not to do's and what to do and you can kind of get the feel of of it based on people's reactions and based on the interactions um, but definitely sit back and learn and you know don't speak first just watch. Um, as the bass player on SNL and with different artists, um, there are definitely some differences. Um, the rehearsal aspect, it's, I, I actually had to learn this when I first uh, got into the TV world. Um, it's, it's definitely, uh, when it's a certain time, it's a certain time because you, you know, it's not only the music. There's a whole lot of things going on, and music might be the last part of it, and so you're kind of on a different schedule. And I kind of got to the thing that I talked about earlier about watching and the do <laughs> the do's and the don'ts is definitely kind of like, um, you know, it's it's a big group of people. It's a big machine running and you're just a part of that machine. So you have to find out what your part is in it. And then comes the music. Um, the reading, being prepared to uh, have your, you know, your reading together. Um, listening because you're being cued on TV, you're being cued uh, with in-ears. And so there's many people talking. So that kind of gets you with that skill um, as opposed to uh, playing live. Um, you know, communication without words, looking, watching for cues, listening. Um, and I think that's, I mean, there's more, but that's kind of it. 
Well, um, something that I always mention to bass players coming up is that the bass is such a foundation to music. And I feel that it should go beyond that. It should go, I feel like electric bass players should check out, you know, upright players and upright and vice versa. Upright players should check out electric players and the music because it only helps you as a musician and it only helps you for your work. I mean, availability, like who can, who can I call that can do this? And if you can only do one thing, they're not going to call you.